Hey guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter three, lesson four. We're going to go ahead and get started with number two in just a second. Um, so it wants us to write the value of the underlying digit. And we're going to round each number to the place of the underlying digit. Okay, so this one, the value is four, right? And when we round it, the seven is bigger than five, so it's going to tell us to put that in there. So four ones, and it's going to tell us to round it to five, okay? Okay. Now, this one, it's going to be three, and it's in the tenth spot, okay? After the decimal place, it all ends in THS, okay? Now, when we go to round that, it's, we're still going to have the two point no matter what. But the four is less than five, so it's going to stay a three. Okay? All right, we're going to do one more. Okay? So, 50, and it ends in the tenth place. So, that's going to be there. Okay? Now, we're going to round it. Well, that six is bigger than five, so the zero is going to be a one. So, 0. 0.51. Okay? You guys do five and six, you totally can. Okay? We are going to name the digit that this is rounded to. Okay? It shows you the original digit, but really all you need to know is this one. Okay? So, this one, that place is the tenth place. Well, you have to know. Tenth. Okay. This one is rounded. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the tenth. Silly me. It's rounded to the hundredth. The second one is the hundredth. My bad. Okay. This one is rounded to the tenth, the first digit after the decimal place. Okay. Now, the six, that's before the decimal point. That's just the one. Okay. All right. You guys do 10, 11, and 12. You guys can totally do this, okay? All right. So we are going to round 7.954 to the place name. So it wants us to name it to the tenth first. That means that our seven isn't going to change. Okay, we're going to name we're going to oh, it might change. Ooh. So if we look at the five to tell us if the nine needs to go up or not. The five is five or bigger, which means that this is going to be a zero, but it means that our seven, because that's a nine, goes up to eight. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay. Now, we're going to round it to the hundredth. Well, that's the second digit after the decimal place. Okay? So we're still going to have seven, and we're still going to have nine. Okay? The hundredths, we need to look at the four. The four is smaller than five, so the fives can stay the same. Okay? The ones place. Okay? That nine is definitely going to tell that seven to round up. Okay? All right. So, you guys are going to do the same thing for 16, 17, and 18. Make sure that you pay attention when that digit's a nine. Don't let it fool you. Okay? And... Go ahead and take care of 16 through 18, okay? Number 19 says the population density of Montana is 6.699 people per square mile. What is the population density per square mile of Montana rounded to the nearest whole number? So it wants us to round to the number before the decimal point, okay? So the six is five or bigger. It absolutely is, which means it's going to be seven people. per square mile. Okay. All right. Number 20 says Alex is mailing an envelope that weighs 0 0.346 pounds. What is the weight of the envelope around the nearest hundredth? Well, the hundredth is the second place after the decimal. So we're still going to have 0 0.3. Okay. The six is bigger than five, so it's going to tell that four to go up to a five. Okay, that is in pounds. Don't forget to label. Okay, all right. We're going to turn it over 
You guys are going to do the lesson check. I totally can. I believe in you. We're going to go down and do the spiral review, okay? It says four ice skaters participate in ice skating competition. The table shows their scores. Who has the highest score? Well, it's 75, 75, 74, and 75. So we know it's not going to be Rowena, okay? Now we have 75.0, 75.3, and 75.3. Well, 75.0 is the lowest out of that one. That's not going to be it, okay? This one doesn't have a digit there, so if I filled one in, it would be a zero, which means three nine is bigger than three zero. So, not three zero. So, Taylor. There you go. Okay. Write a decimal that is one tenth of point nine. That means that it's going to get smaller. Okay. Which means one zero here, we're going to move the decimal one time, which makes it point. Zero nine. Okay, the population of Foxville is about 12 times 10 to the third people, which is another way to write this number. Well, we write our 12 and then we write three zeros one, two, three, 12,000 people. There we go. I love those exponents, it tells us how many zeros to put. Okay. Joseph needs to find the quotient of 3,216 divided by 8. What place is the first digit in the quotient? Well, let's try it. 8, 3, 2, 1, 6. Well, 8's not going to go into 3. 8 will go into 32 four times. Well, that is 100. Not hundredths. That's after the decimal point. Hundred. All right, guys. That is it for 3.4. Come on back for 3.5. Have a good day.